Hello and welcome to race number four of the Gold Fleet. I believe it's the last race of the day for the Gold Fleet. Um, we're definitely gonna have a break after that one. And then let's see what the race committee says if we're gonna go for another round. Wind is still super nice. We have still wind from north easterly directions. Seems like it got a bit stronger at the moment. And um, before we heard that it is 8 to 11 knots, the starting boat. And we are just now under two minutes to the start for the Gold Fleet. And there actually we had the one minute um, signal. So in less than a minute we're gonna see the action starting. And the drone is airborne. I'm just looking at the images we, see st we received there. Yeah, you can see the guys lining up. In the last race we had a big tangle at the top mark. Let's see what we get this one if we're gonna have a clear race. Let's hope it for the competitors. And the uh, riders make their way to the start road and to the starting line. It's a very short line given that we are racing in a short track. And there we go, this was the starting signal. It was a clear start, we just heard it through the radio and we see them lining up here. Seems like Maxime is in a very good position there. A little leeward we have another fly surfer clearly ahead, clear wind. He's probably the first one to tag. At the moment I can't recognize who it is. And there he goes for the first tag. Now he has to cross the the field, but he's not able to cross it actually, he went behind it. So I just heard that it was Guy, um, actually the first one who tagged there and had to cross the field. Very hard to say who is in the lead there now. He definitely is the first one who is also going to reach the ley line. So let's see, he's the first one to tag again. And there he goes, very tight again here on the top mark. We see Maxime and Connor super tight together and Guy with a super good speed coming around the line, uh, around the windward mark, closely followed by Connor and Maxime and I think it's Florian in fourth place, a bit more leeward of the, um, of the first three guys here. Now let's see how this is gonna play out, who did the best rounding. They're all going for the chibe. Connor has a very good position there. And look at that angle of Florian, he's going super deep, bit, a bit less speed. But he's having a good angle there. And we have Guy coming there, leeward. Gonna be a bit of a problem for Connor here on the chibe. Very tight chipes and Guy kind of put himself there in front of Florian a bit leeward. Now he has to um, pump a bit to gain the speed again. Florian overtook him there. Connor positioned himself on first place closely followed by Maxime, Florian and Guy. And he's lifting the kite, initiating the chipe. It's the last rounding. Now it's throttled down full speed. Ooh, Maxime made a super nice rounding, very tight to the mark but he's not able to put pressure on the foil. He's losing now there. Connor did it perfectly now, clearly ahead. And this is gonna be a very interesting transition, very tight battle here between the first four guys. The girls already lining up. And there we see them coming, coming next to the start boat. Let's see if this was a clear transition. It was a very tight battle for the guys. In the lead there we have Ellie Aldrich on the orange ozone followed by Leonie on the fly surfer 
and behind we have Katie Dapson on the blue ozone and Lorient on Flymax. So we just heard through the radio it was a clear transition and there we go Katie uh, Ellie um, is already going for the tag she has to cross the field now she's clearly ahead comfortable position there she makes no mistakes and keeps the speed seems like she's gonna bring home the first place for the British team how is the rest following looks to me like Katie Debson made quite some meters into the front she's now on second place I believe we have a fly surfer there a bit ahead of her could be Magda or Leonie very very in tight battle so we have Ellie Aldrich clearly ahead and then followed by the rest of the field it's like five kites very tight together Ellie's on the ley line Katie now going for the for the tag and the rest of the field is undercutting her risking it a bit trying to push the ley line there I see Magda and Leonie under the ozone there pushing the angle and will they make the lie line yes very tight seems like Leonie put herself in front of Katie there now she needs to gain the speed to get away Katie is too struggling to have the speed there on the ozone so now Ellie is already on the other leg she has a comfortable position now the rest of the field is now initiating the chipe. We can see Leonie a bit leeward of the three girls. A bit behind but a bit deeper. But Katie clearly puts herself in front of the park there. She has clear wind. Chiping first, followed by Julia I think on the orange kite. They all have to round this yellow mark now and now they're going full speed to the last um, leeward mark and then it's just one more chive and throttle down full on reach into the finish. So let's see if we have a position change. It's the last maneuver of the race. Oh, seems like Lorient put herself in front of the park here. Kind of missed that on the drone there. Ellie meanwhile finishing clear ahead. Second place now Lorient, followed by Katie, Julia and I believe it must be Leonie or Magda on the fly surfer. Yeah, and that was it. Race four of the Gold Fleet. Now we're gonna go into a break and then we see what the race committee decides if we're gonna have more races for today. The wind is definitely still blowing. Um, perfect conditions for racing. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Thank you.